<laughs> Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Today, today's a fun one. Let's roll the intro. Woo! All right, guys, I need to address the elephant in the room. Ow. That elephant being, which drone should you get? Mavic 2 Zoom? Well, the Mavic 2 Hasselbrand. Brat, blah, blah. Great question. And I wanted to do some digging, some digging and diving and looking. What's, what's, what should you get? Because when new technology comes out, I get excited. I get hyped up. But we've got to take a look. And Casey Neistat does a great job. So we're going to take a clip from him really quick in his description, his little chart that he put together, describing basically the value that a drone brings you based on price and quality and kind of where the sweet spot is. So take a look at this. Havoc 2 Pro at $1,449, and I put it, I put it right about here. The quality is top notch, the price is still a little bit expensive, but the Mavic 2 Zoom with its zoom feature, the quality is top, and the price, considering what it does, the closest drone to the sweet spot of any drone I've ever used, and I would say that... Now, as a YouTuber, as a creator, I think this chart is huge, right? Because cost, cost, quality, um, convenience, all three of those are a major thing. Now, when it comes to professional videography, it's a completely different story. I don't feel like that scale me matters because then you look at the Inspire or Phantom 4 Pro. It's a completely different discussion. But when you're a vlogger and you're trying to create and get some good, you know, quality but not break the bank, what do you get? And I really loved his, again, I loved his graph. And I looked at the graph, I took a look at it, and I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, I see how you, where he, he put the new Mavic Pro Zoom and Hassel brand, or has, I don't, I'm butchering that name, right in front of basically all of them. And again, as he should. But what I want to talk about here is kind of where the quality line is drawn. Um, when you look at the quality in the Hassel brand, or Hassel brand is a more expensive camera, it's, beyond it's it's phenomenal because of the color correction all that stuff it's it's great but it's fourteen hundred dollars and it's like that's that's kind of steep pretty sure the phantom 4 pro was like fourteen hundred dollars and that thing is just nasty but it's massive right you don't get the convenience i feel like that's kind of like nope that's not even a question now the zoom is a great feature right it added they have the hyperlapse that it's added it has the zoom and it has longer battery it has some great things to it i think the zoom is a huge feature but what i can't get away from is the fact that that's still thirteen hundred dollars the mavic pro the first one <clears throat> is a thousand that's one that i have and that's a great great one but it's a little bit outdated it doesn't have i think all of the fancy things that the new one has now i went and looked did some research did some hunting down and because I, I i liked it when it came out that's the mavic air now the mavic air is smaller than the three it's bigger than the spark but smaller than the three and it packs a punch right it's got all the sensors that the mavic does it has a little bit i think less sensors than the new mavic does um, but it has avoidance, so if you're flying, it goes around it. It has all the fancy things that we look for in a drone. And again, when it comes to quality in 4K, it has 120 frames per second. It does all of that. Uh, maybe the frame isn't as big as in the Hassel brand. I know there is a difference in quality. I get that. But my point is, is that we as consumers through our phones aren't really going to tell a difference from the Mavic Air to uh, the Zoom and the Hassel brand in quality. God, I'm butchering it so bad. In quality, just one based on our eyes and two based on typically what we watch this our product on and the difference though the price is tremendous right so quality maybe yes it is a huge difference but from us being able to tell and see the differences here but price is I'm pretty sure you can snag the Mavic Air for $799 yeah $799 well it's $1400 steep fam that's a huge hit to the bank so I think that's that's huge like that's just like that's crazy to me and again, I would look at the Mavic Airs. Like, there's got to be something here that's missing. It is shorter in time. Like, you only shoot for, you can only fly for 21 minutes compared to 30. Nine minutes, give or take. That's still not worth the extra, what, $800, $700 that's thrown into the Hassel brand. Now, what I do love about the new Mavic Pro Zoom is that zoom feature. That's huge. That's a whole nother animal that's always been kind of missing is being able to zoom on something. So I do like that a lot. And that's not as much as $1,200, it's not as expensive. But I think my question today is, you know, which one should you go get? If you're buying a drone today, brand spanking new, you don't have a single one, which one should you get? And honestly, like I said, based on everything that you see with price and quality, I think Mavic Air is the way to go. I kind of, I, 
was thinking about it, and I was like, God, I kind of want one now. I'm talking about it. Just because of how how much it offers, how small it is. It comes in colors, which is cool. That's a cool feature that, that's irrelevant, but it's a nice feature. It's three different colors. And again, it just packs a flipping punch to that thing. Now, granted, there are some features on the newer models that the Mavic Air doesn't have. Like, I believe Hyperlapse. I don't think that's on there. There was a cool 360. Shh, it takes a picture in 360, like panorama. That's on the Mavic Air, so I thought that was sick. I don't know if the new ones have that. I'm sure they probably do. But, again, the features that were added weren't like, oh, yeah, I probably should spend an extra $700 to get those. Right? And again, the quality, as we as consumers, as you as a creator on YouTube, you're more likely you're not going to be able to define the quality like that much to where it makes a huge difference. And I could be completely wrong here, but I've, I've seen both of them. I've seen the comparison. You can kind of see some. I'm showing the comparison now. It's, I mean, it's, it's drone footage, right? It's butter no matter what it, where it is, what it looks like. Unless you're shooting movies and things like that, you don't need to get the Inspire Phantom 4. Those are great drones, by the way. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Mavic review or the drone review. And maybe if you you know, kind of on the fence of what you should get and maybe you're thinking, because again, like, I don't, you know, we, we can get confused with the marketing, like, oh, it's brand new, I have to get this one, but sometimes the old stuff's better. Like, again, the Go, GoPros, for example, prime example, five and six, they're trash. GoPro four is, like, still one of the best GoPros ever made, and I'm pretty sure it's the same price as five and six, because GoPro knows, like, yeah, this is a fatty GoPro. There's some great features on the five and six that the four doesn't have, but are those features gonna make that much of a difference to where you know, it's worth the extra price or whatever it may be. So that's what I want to talk about today. I think I think I'm think I'm Team Mavic Air still. Again, there may be some more videos that come out that might change my mind, but as for now, I'm Team Mavic Air. So be back here tomorrow because it is every damn day. Make sure you love to you love to and as always. Have a good night.